Tom Daniel sent this to me today. TD sent me this video. I don't know where this is or how old it is or who it is, but it's impressive. And it's, I knew some copies of his Red Baron car had been made from real cars from his kit model, but it's hard to believe that uh, a kit that he designed back in the 60s is still inspiring people to do this much today. This is cool. Well, hello, Glue Troopers. Uh, Max and Max's Models here, and tonight I thought I would just use my live stream setup to do a quick recording for the uh, After Hours show. A couple things. One, uh, <laughs> this little thing came in handy today, a little grabber. I dropped something under the desk under there, and I was able to get it with this. I'm, I'm getting tired of crawling under that desk. Now, of course, it's not going to work for little parts, but uh, the thing I dropped uh, was, was big enough I could pick it up with it, so... Hmm. There's a little tidbit. And so the saga with the P38 continues. Now, this is the Tamiya 148 scale P38 F and G. I'm doing the F model. And uh, wow, there's so much to cover on this. One thing that uh, I will warn you about is you can tell the all the seams and everything are just tight as a drum. So there's actually a bot, there's a wing spar in here. It has a bottom of the wing, a top of the wing on the outer panel, top and bottom of the inner panel. But there's also a two-piece aileron, a separate wing tip, and a piece for the top and the leading edge of the wing. And as you can tell, they just, they fit like a glove. I mean, it's, it's a Tamiya fit, you would think. That we've come to expect. But one thing I would warn you, kind of basic model building 101, is that uh, the gates where the styrene enters into the mold, when you snip them off, even if you've got like the God's hand snippers, you're going to have to file them down. There's, there's no room in here for any burrs or anything. So you've got to, it, it's that tight. The only fit issue I had, it was really mine, was right here on the belly where you see these three holes uh, for the position lights. That's on the F model. The G model, that's a panel. So they have separate uh, inserts that go in there. That one I had to kind of hold some pressure on as the glue dried. The uh, cockpit is uh, pretty much done. Oh, you can't really see it. Uh, but um, I, I got working on the landing gear. Now there are, I think, eight parts just to the nose gear bay. Uh, and the, the detail, of course, is absurd. Uh, the main gears have a lot of other systems in them, piping and tubing and stuff and pumps and filters, which are all separate parts. One of the little filter gadgets, uh, I don't know if it's an oil cooler filter or what it is, but uh, that goes in each landing gear. There's three parts and it's it's like when it's done. Uh, but it went, went in the part with any problem you had and there's just all kinds of, uh, the landing gear on it is so detailed. I mean, it's basically a copy of the real airplane's landing gear. They have really knocked this one out of the park. I mean, the level of detail, especially on a 148 scale kit, borders on the mental. Uh, it's magnificent. And you can see where I got, oh, uh, by the way, after I got that weighted ball in here, then you have covers that come over the nose. Now, I'm not going to put the end cap on because the guns go through it and they need to be painted. So what I'm going to do is when it comes time to paint it, I'm just going to tack glue the nose piece on get it all taped off, spray painted, and airbrushed and everything. Then I can, uh, with that temp, not, not with glue, with that temporary white uh, tack glue that you use that's designed to be able to come off and never really dries. Then once that's, once the airplane's all painted, then I'll pluck that off, put the pre-painted guns in. <clears throat> Otherwise you have to tape off each barrel and we all know how easy those are to break. But I, this is a magnificent kit. They even have two separate instrument panels, even though the difference in the instrument panel, and with two separate decals, uh, even though the instrument panels are, the differences are subtle, but they're there, and so they, they really went the extra way. There's four parts just to the supercharger, which I'm also not putting in until I get it painted. Um, just and, and one other thing, no shock here, everything is left side and right side, even some of these little hatches that are actually uh, see if you can see it there right where my fingertips at 
That's actually a, 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 a panel you have to put in, and they are everything is side specific, including everything. <laughs> um, so uh, just got to be careful of that. So I'm doing like the A side first and completely, and then the B side, and I uh, have the uh, booms over there and the, uh, the internal, the landing gear bay mostly done. I'll, I'll probably work on this a little more this evening. Uh, so that's just uh, the report so far on this thing. I just hope I don't mess up the paint job. Such a wonderful kit. Oh, by the way, this kit does come with a mask for the canopies also. Very nice touch. Um, so, and all this without photo etch. I'm thoroughly impressed with this kit. And <clears throat> I have another one that Orange Tabby sent me of a later model. The, uh, oh, I don't have the bottom of the cowlings on yet. The F and G's early models had the slope, very, very aerodynamic cowlings. The two big holes for the coolant, but they turned out to be insufficient. Engines tended to overheat. That's why you see the later models, the big jolly radiator sticking down, which did slow the plane down. So, uh, also, hopefully on the next live stream, we're going to have uh, Trey uh, fall in of Trey's models. He did, he, well, he does a lot of great models. I've seen his work, uh, uh, been to his workshop. A great guy, great model builder. And he did the Italeri C-130, Fat Albert. And he said it was, you know, he had his challenges in that. He had kind of fought him all the way. And he had to use all his tricks, but it came out looking beautiful. So I thought we might talk about his techniques on that and have some pictures and everything. But, uh, and what I might start doing is time and availability allow is, although we have Ken and uh, Steve usually help me out on the live streams when they're available. And every once in a while we, we ring in Mike Machat. But we might start having sort of, you know, guest stars, so to speak, have some of you glue troopers who are up to something, uh, you know, maybe if, at least if you're here in the U.S. where I can, where I, where we can call on the phone, on the television, you know, maybe have, uh, you know, uh, sort of a glue troopers call-ins and that sort of thing, uh, you know, like, like guest spots, something like that, maybe in the future. It's all in good fun, so it's just whatever you guys want to do. Um, so that brings us up to speed on all that. I did rearrange my shelves a little bit today. We put some more shelving in the pilot room. So uh, I am starting to move a little bit of stuff around. A lot of the models I actually have on the shelf are going to wind up in the Tarvis as I start completing models like this. You know, that you know only the princess builds go in the house. <laughs> uh, the rest of them, out to the Tarvis. And I did not touch the Arizona today. Maybe I'll get on it tomorrow. But I just wanted to uh, bring you guys up. They also, I, as many of you already know, I did a, uh, a video to help out Mike Machat. Let everybody know his computer uh, uh, had problems. Uh, so he'll get his content out as soon as he can once he can get it all fixed. But I didn't think about it. Uh, a lot of comments down there, oh, I'm glad it was a computer problem. We were afraid it was a health issue. I was like, yeah, I... I I, I, I need to I need to lead with the fact that Mike has a computer problem and that's why he's offline. Um, I guess we are an aging group, but um, anyway, that's where everything's at today. Hopefully, he'll he'll be back uh, up soon. Uh, nobody knows when, and whenever the repairman shows up. But that's what I have for today. And uh, again, uh, I want to uh, also once again. Thank my wife for this beautiful box art that she had blown up that was done by Matthew Teeve. And I, I love that thing. I'm, I'm, I'm going to find a better place to put it. The only thing is it's plastic covered. So unless, if I put much light on it, it starts to reflect. But um, anywho, that's what I have for this evening. I guess that's everything. Now I'm just muttering, rambling, rambling, rambling. It's one of the early signs. So guys, uh, take care of yourself. Oh, somebody asked me today... Uh, how do I knock out so many videos? <laughs> I'm high on glue fumes, man. You can do anything when you're on glue fumes. <laughs> okay. That was a joke. I would say don't demonetize this, but I don't monetize it. Mwah! Checkmate. Guys, take care of yourselves. Hope you're having a great time. And as always, model on.